The final stage of the U.S. Drug Supply Chain Security Act requires 100% electronic interoperable exchange of compliance information with all supply chain partners by November 27, 2023. Will your company be ready? Ashley DeFleece, Regulatory Affairs Specialist at Henry Schein, explains why you must act with urgency and prepare now. Onboarding takes a couple weeks to complete. I know that you all remember what it was like when we went live with our ASNs. You know, there's a testing phase, you know, that took a couple weeks. Well, EPCIS is even more complicated than onboarding ASNs. So we want to make our supplier partners aware that this is not just like, oh, snap your fingers and here we go off to the races. We need time to be able to do this. As Kim already showed you, these are all the different steps that we at Henry Shine take to go for onboarding. So if we need to get through all those steps, then we need to make sure that we have enough time to complete that. So the earlier you are ready to do that, the better it is for both our connection along with your other connection with your other uh, wholesaling uh, partners. So that leads us to our next point. We need to focus our EPCIS connectivity in early 2023 because we need to make sure that we have enough IT resources in order to allocate towards getting your EPCIS messages on board. If we have 200 supplier partners that we need to connect to by November of 2023, and it takes several weeks in order to get EPCIS messaging going and live, we need to make sure that we have enough people to work on all of those connections and to make sure that this is all happening as expeditiously as possible. So if we're all of a sudden getting everybody at once in July of 2023 saying, oh, maybe I should start my EPIS, EPCIS onboarding, there's going to be a big problem because we're not going to necessarily be able to onboard everyone at the same time. So we are urging our supplier partners, um, which is why we're so glad you're here today, to get as quickly as possible with us at Henry Shine or with your other uh, supplier partners so that you can make sure that you're continuing the flow of information and also not affecting patient care and affecting the supply chain by not having your information readily available to our downstream customers. Can we help? Please contact DSCSA at tracelink.com.